Welcome to another episode of Fresno Flavor. I'm super excited today. I'm in the corner of Herndon and Armstrong and Clovis at Cravings, and I am digging for one of those juicy burgers and hot dogs I've heard so much about. Join me. I'm Jason Ferris, creator of FresYes.com, and I've lived in Fresno my whole life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots the 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. So, hey, thank you, by the way, a Grant, for having me here today, like, rocking place you have. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you guys coming in and spending the time to showcase a little mom and pop's joint. Man. No, my, my pleasure. My honor, actually. Uh, without you guys, we'd all be uh, a bunch of Applebee's, <laughs> right? <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about, like, Cravings, like, how long you owned it? Like, give me some backstory. Yeah, so Cravings opened in November of 2011. But, 2011, uh, right here in this spot? Yep, this spot, this is the original. That's a long time. Now, so you purchased the place that looked a little different. Yeah, oh yeah. So you've kind of put your own spin on it? Tell me about. Well, I'm kind of like OCD, and before when you'd walk in, there was multiple colors on the, the wall. There was like two different shades of yellow, a light green, an orange, and I was like, man, you know what? I want to just make it simple, just two colors. So I ended up uh, keeping the mural that's on the wall over here. And I was like, you know what? It'll just all be black and yellow to match that mural. And just kind of went from there. That's cool. Yeah. And then there's obviously some influence here on heavy metal. Yeah, so like b besides owning Cravings, I'm also in a professional Christian heavy metal band, uh, Crushing Lady Fever, right there by your head. <laughs> <laughs> you go figure, right? So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, hey, so. I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> So we just kind of incorporated, you know, the different music memorabilia. We have a lot of musicians, national acts and local acts come through. Really? We're, we're a huge supporter of uh, the music scene. And, you know, probably the biggest one that most people would know is uh, that we had the keyboardist of Aerosmith. He did a CD signing and meet and greet here. Uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. This smells amazing and there's nothing even on this grill. Yeah, so uh, the almond wood has a really good uh, smell. Uh, it gives the meats a really good flavor. Does anybody do that in town? Not that I know of, no. Most burgers are anybody... cooked on something similar to this. Yeah, like, like, a, flat like a flat top grill with propane or gas on. Yeah, this smells delicious. So that's what's giving it all your meats, like just that little extra flavor, huh? Oh yeah. Love that. All right, my man, what, what what do I have here? Right here, that's, that'll just be our classic chili dog, just chili and cheese. You don't want to mess up a good thing. I just keep it simple. Right. Same thing with uh, this burger right here is a G Money Burger. You got two patties, Swiss cheese, uh, tri-tip, and our made-in-house raspberry this chipotle barbecue so good. Sauce. When your, your your staff was helping me and asking me about the toppings, I'm like, just, just keep it simple, like let's enjoy the meat. Oh yeah, definitely. I'd do the same thing, honestly, myself. I wouldn't put anything on yeah. it. So these will be our uh, shoestring fries right here with uh, some seasoning on them. We have uh, these, these three different sauces I wanted you to try. We make in-house. Uh, we make our own ranch. This right here is gonna be the raspberry chipotle barbecue yeah. sauce. Uh, there is a little on the burger as well. And then you got the uh, Chipotle mayonnaise. And all three are really good with the uh, French fries. You remember growing up, see, that's what I was thinking this was gonna taste like. My grandma used to make ranch dressing like in a, uh, in a glass container. I think it was like the packets or something, like buttermilk dressing. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Our, ours is a buttermilk ranch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's delicious. Now, so the, the hot dog won 2017. Yeah. 2017, the Fresno Bee awarded us with the uh, best hot dog in town. We were pretty excited since we're just a little uh, mom and pop shop. That was a pretty cool deal for us. That's good. See, I'm a secret lover of chili dogs. Like, I can get a tray of chili dogs and just have chili. <laughs> like, you know, like watching a football game. You can't really watch football yet, but football or baseball or like a fall day. Yeah. Get yourself some chili dogs and, you know, go to town. All right. 
I'm sold on chili dog. That's good stuff. Thank you. Yeah, it's 100% all beef dog, quarter pounder. Yeah, it's real 100% dog. I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so excited about how I'm going to dig into this and not make a mess <laughs> on camera in front of everybody. Does anybody ever cut it in half? Oh, yeah. All right, then I'm going to. It is flowing with juice. Like I was telling you before, you get that full bite through on that tri-tip, super tender. All right, Let's see what it's about. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Okay. People probably wonder, like, if I would lie on camera, and I've told and I've told this story a couple times, but if I don't like it. You won't see it. <laughs> Meaning, I'll just like cut the, we'll cut the filming. I'll just say, dude, sorry, you know, but I love this. This is so delicious. Thank you. Mmm. You know that commercial Carl's Jr.? It was like <laughs> it dripping. Doesn't it doesn't get all over your place. <laughs> mm, God. That is so delicious, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my God. That try to on point. Those burgers are good. They have just the right amount of Swiss. Okay. The Swiss, right? Yep. Yeah. You could easily do that on keto. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can take that bun off and I can enjoy that Swiss cheese, those hamburger patties, and all that tri tip. It'd be perfectly within keto diet, which I think is important because a lot of people go on keto these days. Oh, yeah. No. It's trying to be healthy, man. And they actually order it that way if they want it? Yeah. So we, any of our items, you could get them lettuce wrapped so you don't have to have the bun. I, I know a lot of people try to not have carbs and stuff yeah. like that. So we do have a, a couple of different, you know, vegan or vegetarian options. So, <laughs> so I, I got these sauces here. Uh, we got the homemade ranch. We got the raspberry chipotle. Yes. And then what I got here? Yeah, chipotle mayonnaise. The chipotle mayonnaise. Uh, ranch we did, loved it. Very, um, you know, just tastes like grandma's ranch dressing that she made in the mason jar, <laughs> right? I think that's an awesome compliment, by the way. Just oh, yeah. letting you know. Definitely. Um, let's dig into this raspberry one. It seemed to be uh, one that you thought was uh, one of the best ones. Your guy at the front said the same thing. Wow. So you really get the raspberry. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't think I would. Let me try that again. <laughs> it, it pairs really well with the tri-tip, and you can't necessarily taste the raspberry as much. Uh, oh, that's good, but on though. The fries, you really There's a little heat, a little heat on the back end. Yeah. Yep. So if you just let it sit in your palate it for a little burn. bit. Yep. Great job. Thank you. I really great, it. man. <laughs> so um, how do our viewers find you online? Yeah, so online, uh, right now we only are really active on uh, Facebook. So they pull you up on Facebook, call or order in, Come and pick it up. We're set. Yep, you got it. All right. Hey, thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us for another episode of Fresno Flavor. You can find more stories about the people, the places, and the amazing local business owners on fresyes.com.